And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is Kimberly and Beck. Kimberly and Beck show is on air, Radio 951, and also online, thanks to the iHeartRadio app at Radio951.com. They underestimate us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. Wow. Why, why is she screaming? The mayor is, uh, you know, a little fired up when she announced her re-election last night around 6 o'clock at... Oh, my God. They <laughs> underestimate us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. I am seeking re-election. Um, she sounds like a shrew. They underestimated us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. She sounds angry. Maybe she had a little... Uh, doesn't she? I don't know what's going Think on. she had a shot of espresso before <laughs> she announced her re-election bid? I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe someone was poking her. They underestimated us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm lovely wow. warm. I'm angry and I want to be your mayor. They underestimated us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. Maybe she's so angry because she... Uh, is Uncle Reggie still driving for her or does she have a, a different no, driver? No. Uh, isn't Uncle Reggie at the new transit center? Yeah, Uncle Reggie is no longer driving for Mayor Lovely Warren after those two speeding infractions to and from Albany in the same day. There is a picture of Mayor Lovely Warren's SUV, yeah. her city SUV, that is parked in a no parking or standing area. So I'm standing here on Tennessee Street, Rochester, New York. Mayor Lovely Warren is right down the street about to announce her future plans, whether she's running for re-election or not. But I thought it was interesting. This actually is a black Chevy Suburban. Not only is it parked illegally in a clearly posted no standing anytime, but it's also blocking the bus stop. And again, this is more of that above-the-law mentality. Uh, no standing, no parking, it's a bus stop. But her SUV, the, the, the big black Chevy Suburban, parked there just as easy as you please, I guess. If you're the mayor, anything goes. Uh, if you're the mayor, you don't have to follow the rules. You can park your black SUV wherever you want. It's real, real simple. Chevy Suburban. We can park which right here. What she was doing isn't really city business, is it? She's announcing her personal campaign to run for mayor again. That's they not... They underestimated us, Dan, and they are underestimating us today. No, but we don't underestimate you. We just think you're ridiculous. <laughs> That's all. Uh, we, we, have... we think that you think you're above the law. And it kind of goes back to when she had Uncle Reggie speeding back and forth to Albany going 90 plus uh, miles an hour on the throughway. Now I know some of the fourth men are saying, really, big deal, she parked her car in a bus zone. Is it really that big a deal? Well, it is, I guess, for the, for the majority of us who would get towed. We would get towed yeah. and we would have to pay cash to the people who tow our car in excess of, how much is it when you get your car towed? 150 Cash. The, yeah. They don't take checks or credit cards, L last I knew. I, I think it's cash only, isn't it? Uh, black SUVs matter, Kimberly and Beck. No, the fact well, of the they matter is... They certainly do. But yes. that, that's Davey Barra, by the way, the, the guy that was getting the video. Here's the thing. She doesn't believe she has to follow the, the law. And, and, and you know what? It's something so simple as park this vehicle in a correct spot. Don't break any laws. Park it where any average, everyday Joe or Jill would park, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. You can't just have the mindset, hey, I'm mayor of the city. I'll park wherever I damn well please. And again, it goes back to when, the, you know, her first couple of weeks as mayor, when she hired her uncle at, I don't know, however much it was costing the city, $89,000. She had two drivers, but I think one was upwards of six figures. Yeah, Uncle Reggie. Uncle going Reggie to was getting his pension because... He was a former New York State police employee, so he was getting his pension, and she was paying him $89,000 to run him to and from the, uh, you know, the state house in Albany, and they got popped not once, but twice in the same day, yeah. going 90 miles and then some 
down the throughway. So here you have Mayor Lovely Warren announcing her candidacy parked in a no parking, no standing zone. Yeah, I mean, it kind of went sideways for us when we found out how much she was paying her uncle. And, but we, whatever, I mean, nepotism is done all over the place. But then to find out that he had used his um, clout as a uh, New York State, uh, uh, retired New York State police. Right. And got out of the, uh, the speeding tickets. Well, yeah, it went south there, and it's also went south, and she claimed she'd come on our show. Well, I, I have no problem going on Kimberly and Beck or any other show. She never came on our show after we had talked about Uncle Reggie, race car Reggie. No. And that whole debacle. So now you have there. Mayor Lovely Warren again really taking a, a misstep, I, I think. And, and, and she ought to know better by now. She ought to know that she's under the microscope. She ought to know there are people you like Davey V. You can't just park wherever you want. No, there are people like Davey V. who's going to catch you doing something wrong, and he did. And Well, he didn't have to look very hard. No, he didn't. She made it easy for him. Now, the last time we talked to Davey V., he was busting someone that was getting uh, the welfare cheese yeah. and selling oh. it to that restaurant, which was hilarious to us. But this isn't hilarious. This is just... You're smarter than that. You know better, Mayor Lovely.